It's Jasmine. Herbie. Tiffany. We're here at Angad Arts Hotel in St. Louis, Missouri. The first hotel that lets their guests book their rooms by color and emotion. They have red for passion, blue for tranquility, green for rejuvenation, and yellow for happiness. It's super colorful and full of surprises, so let's check it out. Woo! Do it. This is our arts district in St. Louis, and we for many, many years have wanted to have a hotel here because we have a symphony and we have Broadway plays and we have museums, but no place for guests to come and stay with us here in St. Louis. And so it became a vision for us that started about five years ago to create an arts-oriented hotel. But we also wanted to create unique experiences throughout the hotel. For instance, you actually enter the hotel in the back of the building under the fire escape, and then you come into a art gallery where we have changing art exhibits, so we're seeing art. And then when you first come in the building, you'll see the quote by Angad Paul, who's my co-partner and co-founder, which says, what is art but seeing the world in a different way? And what is life but a series of experiences connected together? So we have lots of different types of each emotion and each color. All right, so I'm staying in the red room, which symbolizes passion. So we're gonna go in for the first time and check it out. Maybe I'll love myself a little more tonight. Oh, I'm like, not in that way. I don't know. My favorite color is blue, which symbolizes tranquility here. Tonight, Jasmine has that one. So we'll see if she likes that. Wow! Whoa! Oh! Very sensual. Look at it jiggle. I got eyes watching me. It's a little creepy. But this is a nice large bed. Oh, I had a feeling myself. A Zen garden? This blue closet. There's two robes, both for me. Sign lonely. Even my shampoo and conditioner is blue. I will use you later. I genuinely feel like my mood brightened a little bit when I walked in here. It actually made me pretty happy. I'm definitely gonna be using this later. Not so tranquil anymore, huh, Jasmine? <laughs> How do I use this thing? <laughs> okay, so these are the one bedroom suites, which all have a comfy sofa bed, a coffee table with colored furnishings that match your room, a TV, and a beautiful view of the city. And this is the kitchenette with the dining table, mini fridge, bowls, plates, and glassware, and a Keurig coffee and tea maker. Very cozy space where you can unwind or just get some work done. Now this is the bathroom, which is very large. It has two sinks and little containers with cotton swabs and cotton balls. And each room has a rubber ducky that matches its room. So we just got back from dinner and I'm super exhausted, so I'm getting ready for bed. But I'm not gonna lie, coming home to the yellow room still feels very cheerful and makes me happy. And I'm really excited to wake up in the morning and just be bathed in golden yellow light. I just took a shower and I feel so relaxed. I feel just on a plane of existence, you know, where I don't need to do anything. I'm not asked of anything. I am just simply existing. I wonder how Tilo is doing. The more I sit in this room, the more sensual it feels. Very warm and also kind of like sexy. <laughs> just woke up um, after staying in the red room. I'm getting that warm and inviting feeling of being here. Almost even kind of relaxing and calming. Wow, guys, this room is so awesome. It's not even gimmicky, it's just a beautiful blue with beautiful white and gold finishes. I like couldn't get out of bed. I'm usually the kind of person where I hear my alarm, I turn it off immediately, I roll out of bed, I get ready, bam, I'm done. But today I was like, Mm, no. To be honest, I am feeling pretty happy. It's a little bit gloomy outside, but the yellow walls and the yellow curtains, I think really illuminated the light and made it feel a lot more sunny than it actually was, which was really nice to wake up to. I do feel ready to take on the day, um, but I'm also excited to try a different room tonight. I'm thinking maybe red. 
In the morning, we went and explored the hotel and all of its amazing amenities. The On God Rainbow Terrace sits on the top floor of the building and it's an indoor and outdoor bar. You get a panoramic view of the city while you sip on your cocktails and you can even get drinks that match the color of your room. Then we headed to lunch at the hotel's restaurant, The Grand Tavern, where we ate St. Louis-inspired dishes like hipster fries topped with parmesan, shishitos, and beef jerky. We even tried the clothesline bacon, which they fired at the table, and you get to eat it in this fun way where you cut it, and then you eat it so you don't have to get your fingers sticky. We also had the Himalayan salt brick aged steak, which was delicious and actually a patented dry age process by Chef Burke. And the meat was soft, it was juicy, perfectly seasoned and just melted in your mouth. We finished off our lunch with some sweets like the dark chocolate mousse, which was an ode to the Rockettes and it's filled with orange cream and topped with the hot chocolate sauce. Lastly, we got a little messy and had some gooey butter donuts. The inside was filled with a warm gooey butter sauce and it was topped with cotton candy, which made my teeth real nice and blue. We finished our lunch and after we stuffed our bellies, we headed up to the music and game room. The wall is lined with different board games that you can play and the other side of the wall is lined with different instruments. We have in the hotel a musical instrument wall and the mantra is please touch. We want people to take the guitar or the banjo or the violin or whatever off the wall and play it, whether you have any talent or not. Ready to see my room? I'm thinking that I'll just feel really refreshed because people say to look at green when you're stressed out. Not research approved, but people say that's supposed to rejuvenate, yeah. Okay, shall we go in? Whoa. Oh my gosh! Wow, that's beautiful. This is gorgeous. I just love when the lights turn on and it hits the green and the green bounces back everywhere. So I'm in the red room tonight, which to be honest is kind of sensory overload. I definitely don't feel as joyful and crazy happy as I did. Yeah, it just makes me want to be lazy and not do anything, which is also my good idea for vacation, so. I've only spent five minutes in this room, but I already feel like I'm in my element. Blue is my favorite color. It's just, it's very calming. It's very tranquil. Um, so, so far I'm really digging it. And I'm not gonna lie, at night it's a little spooky. It's just very dark and obviously very red. I'm hoping it doesn't stay spooky and maybe once I turn on the lights it'll feel a little bit a little bit better. All of a sudden my TV is just doing this and I don't know what to do. Morning two, woke up in the beautiful green room. It is very, very pretty, very, very green. And so when I woke up today, I just felt like I had so much energy and I wanted to go explore the city, you know? Book the room with the color that matches your emotion because it will just amplify that 10,000%. I woke up feeling really refreshed and happy. And like I said, my favorite color is blue. So when I woke up and everything was blue, I was like, this is great. I have so much energy, I'm gonna go down to the fitness center and work out. The Angad Arts Hotel is located in the Grand Arts District of St. Louis. It's surrounded by a bunch of really delicious restaurants. It overlooks the city, you can see the gateway arch. It's just absolutely stunning. The hotel itself is really artsy, so when you're driving by, it really pops out at you. 